Hello friends, this is Parag here, your host on Stay Strong Podcast. It's my promise to bring you the world-class interviews in kettlebell sport, information on kettlebells nutrition and strength and conditioning. Today we have a very special guest from Sweden. Her name is Anna. She's working in a nuclear plant and she started her kettlebell sporting journey simultaneously. In four to five years, she has picked up very well to create seven world records. I'm so excited to understand her trainings, her programs, her mindset. Please help me to welcome Anna from Sweden. Hello, Anna Karen. Welcome to Stay Strong Podcast. Thank you very much for your valuable time. And uh, I'm so excited to speak to you about your kettlebell sport journey. Um, we will get started. Uh, I would like to know a little bit of your fitness background and professional background. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, my professional background, uh, yes. what I've been working with uh, is I'm working on a nuclear plant okay uh, as an instructor okay uh, and i've been working there for like uh, a lot of years more than 30. <laughs> okay 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 so i've been working there for a long time okay okay, okay. so uh and my uh, kettlebell <laughs> and uh, how did uh, how did you get introduced to kettlebell sport i would like to know that uh, it was a friend of mine, uh, okay. her name is Anja, okay. uh, a very good friend. Uh, she told me that, uh, uh, come here and uh, try to do this thing. I have never heard about it. Okay. Uh, and uh, I, uh, when uh, she explained for me, I, I thought it was uh, really boring. Okay. It didn't look nice at all. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I gave it a try. And we were uh, training with Rickard Garbell, okay. who is a really famous kettlebell lifter. Okay. Uh, and uh, I liked it for the first time I tried. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so, so you got introduced to kettlebell sport at the age of fifty. You are fifty-four now. So, yes. uh, so it's been five years four to five years you've been lifting kettlebells, right? Yeah, so, it's like five years from now. Five years, okay. So before getting introduced to kettlebell sport, do you have any fitness background? Like, uh, was you involved in some kind of uh, athletic sport or anything? Mm, uh, not exactly. I've been horse riding for a lot of years since I okay. was little. Uh, okay. And uh, then I have had the kids and been running after them. <laughs> Okay. So that, that was my exercise. Okay. Uh, and like five, five, ten years before I started with the kettlebell, uh, I was like going to boxercise. Okay. And uh, training aerobics, and I never liked to run, so okay. I've been trying to start running a lot of times. Okay. But after like two times, I'm just bored of it. Okay, okay. So, uh, like, uh, when you get introduced to kettlebell sport, uh, that is at the age of 50, mm -hmm. what apprehensions did you have about the sport? Like, did, do you, did, did you ever lifted weights in your life or this was the first time you're lifting kettlebells? First, first time with weights. Uh, okay. Uh, I've been never, I have never been to the gym. Okay. Never. Okay. Uh, I've been just, just uh, uh, doing heavy things with a horse. Uh, okay. It's like when you have a horse, you have to carry a lot of heavy things. So yes. that's it. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, lifting kettlebells, did you find it challenging before? Because you didn't have any lifting experience, although you had an experience of horse riding. But when you actually started kettlebell lifting, um, what was your feeling with kettlebells at this age, at the 50, 51? How, um, how did you deal with that? Uh, for the first, I have to say that I never think about my age. Okay. Uh, uh, I uh, I never think that oh I'm uh, old so I cannot do this. I I am uh, I am very I like very much to compete. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, in everything, 
Okay, okay. So, uh, and kettlebell, it's really easy okay. to, to feel that you're getting stronger. Yes, yes, uh, that is And true. that's what's driving me. <laughs> yes, now uh, that's really great to, uh, you know, understand what you're trying to tell, uh, tell us. Uh, what is uh, your biggest challenge uh, when you're lifting kettlebells? When you go onto the platform, what is your biggest challenge you feel? Let's say, for example, your biggest challenge is breath or you have biggest challenge is strength or maybe you have issues with the flexibility, you have issues with something else. What is your biggest challenge you see at this age when you're lifting kettlebells? Uh, I, I'm not a gymnastic one. Okay. Uh, I'm a, I don't know what you call it. I'm like, uh, it's not easy for me to straight my arms. Okay. But I'm much better now. Okay. When I was five years ago, because five years ago I was like this, okay. and then I've been training, e e e e e e e, <laughs> and okay. getting better. Okay. So okay. Um, I'm really stiff. Okay. <laughs> and okay. I don't, uh, I don't like stretching at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but the stretching is uh, definitely the interim part of the training program. So like uh, when you are doing uh, lifting, uh, like when you're actually lifting kettlebells, uh, are you coaching with someone or you're doing it by yourself? Uh, we in uh, our little team, uh, Erka, as you see in the background. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we, we are like uh, five, seven people only. Okay. Often we are three, four who's okay. training together. Okay. Uh, and we are pushing each other, helping each other, uh, okay. and having fun. And that's the best part. Okay. Okay. So we don't have, uh, right now, we don't have a coach. We're coaching each other. Okay. Okay. So I, have, I have had two coaches, and it was Ricard Garbel, and after that, it was Olivier. Okay. Uh, and uh, he is a part of our team now, Olivier. Okay. Uh, and now we we just helping each other. Okay. So, Olivier is a very good lifter from Sweden. Yeah, I yes, know him, and I have met him. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So it's great that you have a very good company, and you guys are really learning, and really good to see that you are. Uh, you know, picking up very faster. And uh, I think recently you played the European Championships, which happened in uh, Sweden. And uh, how was your experience with the European Championships, which you had, like uh, your participation in WKSF European Championships in Fulham? How was your experience uh, lifting kettlebells there? Uh, it was the first time after okay. uh, the, COVID, the COVID thing. Yeah. Uh, so then we could meet each other. Yes. Uh, before that, we have been doing on, all this online competition. Yes. yes. So in Poland, it was the first time the first we time. met. Yes. And it was not so so much people, so many people yes. there. Yes. Uh, but the, the people who was there, it was really fun to meet them. Okay. Uh, and uh, that was the best thing. Yes. And then I, uh, <laughs> the thing with me is that I don't uh, do just one lifting okay. or two lifting. I do everything. Okay. So I do uh, both uh, uh, year about sport lifting, just short 10 minutes set. Okay. okay. And then I do uh, uh, half marathon and marathon. Okay. So uh, from Fallon, I had uh, five gold medals. Oh, okay. Super. Uh, so, Congratulations. Uh, yeah. I was a little bit sore the okay. day after, but <laughs> okay. it was okay. Okay. I like so, to do everything. <laughs> okay. So what all events did you do in uh, European Championships and which is your favorite lift? Like, for example, if you're doing long cycle or if you're doing half snatch or full snatch, which all lift did you do in, um, in the European Championships and which is your favorite lift? Uh, my favorite, uh, I like marathon and 10 okay. platform more than 10 minute sets. Okay. Uh, I like to do things for a long time. Not okay. Quick. <laughs> yes, the cardio, uh, more of cardio, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, and I think it's so heavy to do double. 
Yes. But I do it. But I, I like more marathon and pentathlon. It's uh, the best part. It was not on this uh, fallen European one, but okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. But I did one thirty and one sixty minutes in fallen. Okay, okay, great. So, mm. Great, 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 great to hear that. And um, um, when your trainings definitely are. Um, nutrition changes a little bit like unlike uh, if you are uh, training in competition the nutrition is different but if you are resting and if you are like training for the off season the nutrition is a little different what nutrition do you follow i, I mean i would like to know like uh, what do you eat uh, because uh, i eat everything and i eat a lot and i'm not resting okay okay uh, i'm in competition mood all the time i haven't okay. been resting for uh, like Three years, I think, uh, maybe for a week, but okay. not more. Okay. So uh, I I train a lot, okay. uh, or and I train everything of the kettlebell sport things. Okay. Okay, okay. No, um, when I say nutrition, do you follow some, like you have some certain supplementation to be taken or you eat uh, like you are vegetarian, you are vegan or you are non-vegetarian, how it is? Uh, I, uh, as I said, I eat a lot and I eat everything. I don't take uh, uh, like uh, any protein. Okay, you don't take supplements. No, no, nothing. I, I eat food. Okay. And, uh, Afterwards, when I've been training, I like to have like uh, some of this uh, ProPad. Okay. Have you heard about it? Okay. Okay. Uh, it's with extra protein. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, I drink that. Okay. Or have a, a bar. We have bars as well. So, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, and it gives you quick energy afterwards. Okay. Okay. But so I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm not on like special diet. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm happy because I'm I I uh, comp compete in uh, minus seventy kilos. Okay. Uh, and I'm just like 68, 69, so I don't have to think so much. So much, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. About it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, before. Before you started kettlebell lifting, did you had any kind of injuries for the shoulder or maybe for your legs or hips or anywhere? When you started kettlebell lifting, you can see that injuries being solved. Like for example, if you have a lower back problem, it is getting better. Or if you have an injury, but that injury is aggravated, what is your experiences on injuries? If you had any injuries um, before you start kettlebell lifting or have you ever injured with kettlebells? Before, when I did horse riding, I had uh, a lot of back problem. Okay. And I, I think it was because I was carrying heavy things, okay. but I didn't get the muscles okay. for it. I was, I was like uh, strong in my arms. Okay. Uh, so I took these heavy things, okay. and then I got sore in my back. Okay. So when I do this kettlebell training, okay, you train everything. Uh, I have never been so fit before, <laughs> like the the stomach, the back, the arms, the legs. Okay. It, it, uh, everything gets strong when okay. you do kettlebell lifting. Yes, yes, yes. So, so you don't have to do so much else. If you do kettlebell and you do all these uh, different uh, things like double 10 minutes and marathon and pentathlon, you train the whole day. Yes, yes. So, yes. Uh, so since I started with the kettlebell, I have no problem. Sometimes I get a little bit, uh, but... Okay, okay but you, you, never, you never had an injury earlier before starting kettlebells. You never had injury. No, Any no. kind of injuries from horse riding or anything? Uh, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. So that's good because 
uh, often times what happens is uh, if you're having any kind of injuries it becomes uh, too much of bothering for uh, the lifters like if you have some kind of a problem with the back then your pulling movements get restricted or maybe if you have some issues with shoulder then the lockouts is a problem so uh, it's really great that you do not have any injuries so glad to know that now uh, like uh, maybe just uh, our uh, viewers would like to know your best numbers uh, in kettlebells like with 16 kilos or whatever liftings you have done if you can just share long cycle how many repetitions you have done yeah. uh, if you have done half snatch if you can just share the numbers for the half uh, marathon I, I half yes uh, half snatch half marathon half snatch 30 minutes uh, 20 kilos, I've done uh, 503. So that is a long cycle? No, half, half snatch. snatch. Half snatch, okay. Half okay. snatch. Uh, okay. I like half snatch. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, long so, cycle? That's, that's a good one. Long cycle, I have 30 minutes with 22 kilos. Uh, 22 kilos? 22. 22, yes. Okay. okay. Yes, 22 kilos. 361. Okay. Uh, and I have uh, one long cycle, 60 minutes, uh, with 20 kilos, uh, huh. 760. Amazing. Okay. Uh, now, so that's good number. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And it's uh, it is going to be very inspiring for the people who are going to listen to this podcast. Mm. Super. And uh, anything on the 10 minute classic number? Like 10 minute? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear like 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 minute movement. 10, 10 minutes. Minute. Yeah. Uh, on uh, now, when I was uh, uh, in Falun, uh, I did double 16. Okay. Uh, I wanted to do more than 100. Okay. Uh, and uh, I did it at home. <laughs> Okay. But it didn't count. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now I don't, actually I don't remember the numbers. I think it was ninety six uh, on double sixteen. Okay. Ninety six or ninety four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. You uh, can maybe uh, whenever you get time, you can just message me that. That is all. Yes. Yes. Of course. Of course. Super. Okay. Uh-huh. Great. Great. Uh, it's an absolutely amazing journey and the story to understand. Uh, before we end, I would uh, ask you the last question to actually give a very strong message to the lifters out here in India, especially the women lifters who are about 40. And my purpose of this podcast is to inspire women over 40. Uh, and that is why I'm interviewing women who are about 50. Uh, across the world uh, who are the top 50 lifters across the world so that the women about 40 get uh, a good motivation to lift kettlebells and uh, um, get into strength and conditioning get into strength training more by watching this podcast by understanding the training methodologies and the training programs and the nutrition that is what my purpose is to reach out to all people so if you can just share certain you know a good message strong message if you can give out for our viewers uh, for the first thing uh, never think you're old because you're not yes <laughs> just train and lift uh, uh, of course you have to train you don't take more heavy heavier kettlebells than you can do but uh, yes. Yes. Don't, don't say i'm too old for this yes because it's not true it's not true absolutely uh, and uh, then uh, just uh, have good friends around you uh, yes. to motivate you and yes. help you to be better. Yes. Uh, and have fun. Yes. That's, most that's important it. part. The most, in, the most important thing is to have fun. Yes. And do everything, not yes. just one single thing. Do yes. try everything. Yes. Uh, in two weeks, we are going to France. Yes, for the IKMF World Championship there. Yes. Uh, and uh, there I'm going to do pentathlon. Yes. And uh, 30 minutes uh, long cycle, one arm long cycle. 
Okay, so which week? No, twenty. It's coming up. It's 20. coming up. Uh, twenty or twenty-two. Okay. I haven't okay. decided. I, I think uh, twenty-two. Okay. Because it's a limit. Uh, in e, yeah, you, uh, you cannot do more than three hundred and ninety. Yes. Uh, repetition for thirty minutes. Yes. So I think I have to do twenty-two. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I do too many. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yes. 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 Mm. Super. So I wish you good luck for the IKMF uh, event which is coming up, and uh, I am yeah. sure uh, this will be another uh, you know a milestone for you to achieve. And uh, we are really looking forward for you to come out with the flying colors for your country. I wish you good luck. Yeah, and uh, we will be very happy if uh, we see more women out on the platforms. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, there would be uh, there would be few men and women from India participating into the events. So uh, are, we are have. Yeah, I'm going? no. I, I'm not going. Uh, there are other team. There are other people who are going, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm really proud that you know India is coming up very nicely, and a lot of women lifters are coming out, and a lot of men lifters are coming out. We are getting into a little professional mode also. So it's really nice that India is picking up nice. Um, they, in 2022, uh, we would be definitely. Yeah, we are doing this uh, this competition seven minutes every month. Uh, it's an Indian. Competition. Yes, 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 yes. It's a different. Uh, yes, we are yes. doing it every month. Yes, yes, yes. Seven, yes. seven minutes. Yes, uh, one yes. hour long cycle this month. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> uh, so uh, I look forward to see you in one of the competitions very soon. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time and uh, I wish you good luck. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>